crook of the crooks, honey. I'm hungry, trying to find you. I need to cook for me. Got his own repertoire, a beast. Buddy, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Executioner and his opponents fighting out of the blue corner. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. How do you define consistency when you describe the fact that among this matchup you're looking for guys to be more consistent? Which guy's going to be more consistent? How do you define that? Just in one area. When they get inside, for example, Joe, every once in a while somebody takes a little bit of a break. Yeah, there's working, but all of a sudden one guy's arm goes behind the other guy. I'm looking to see who keeps both hands free. by Roy Jones Jr. Oh! Roy Jones Jr. stunned and he is hurt. Some fine fundamentals. Good counter punch. Nice mousetrap day. Let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese. He used distance. Get out of the way from those a spot that his opponent doesn't want to be in. You see him backing him up against the ropes. Holy cow! The executioner is almost out of it there. He was stunned. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Come on, work it out. Shot returning fire. Well done by Roy Jones Jr. You know, boxing is a global sport. I think she defines its fighters differently, and the fighters are defined by where they come from. Yeah, it really is. You know, sometimes if a fighter is from maybe a place where there's not many resources, then you're going to get a fighter who's a little cruder, and he's going to have to be more physical because, you know, he doesn't have the apparatuses in the gym where, you know, he can hit a... Oh, he got caught by that right hand. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. He went from almost being knocked out to being right back in it. Very nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him. There it is! He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Boy, he is shaky right there. He is on shaky ground in the ring right now. Lands the counter. Well, we just learned something here, Teddy, in this fight. He landed a beautiful counter punch, and if that continues tonight, this fight's going to be in his favor. Yeah, this fight might be over because when you land counter punches, usually you're landing clean shots and sooner or later shots that your opponent doesn't see. And those are the shots that say, good night. Comes right back at him with a left hand. One hook deserves another. Wow. The executioner's corner is going to really need to step up and handle that swelling. So best they just had, I'm sure. Yes, he heard his opponent there. He's going to want to go back to what he was doing and remember what set up those big shots. Roy J. 
Jones Jr. from Pensacola, Florida, where he grew up. A little bit of a country life out there. He likes his fighting Gamecocks. Yes, he does. And, you know, as crazy as this may sound, he says he learns something from them. He watches them fight, and he takes little moves and little tricks. One thing about Roy Jones, he is unorthodox in his approach. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. There it is! Wow, no doubt about it, affected by that right hand. If I were him, I'd be hanging on a little bit here. Keep busy, guys. Come on now, keep busy. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Roy Jones Jr. And now you're seeing the beard that this guy possesses because he went from stunned and damaged to staying right upright. Oh, this is like Santa Claus's beard. I'm telling you right now. A crushing blow to the head. Uh, keep boxing. You're doing great. You're making it hard for him to hit you. Okay. I want to see that counter hook. Make it pay for We'll take care of Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be noted down to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately blocks that punch the executioner's cut man is gonna need to be all over this side the swelling seems to be getting worse well it's kind of like being a gardener you have to start getting in there before the weeds come up you can't wait until the weeds are all over the place and then pull them up you're gonna destroy those beautiful rose bushes well, it's the same thing here. You gotta get to this eye before the swelling's there. You gotta put that end swell, that cold piece of metal, onto that place early on. Use your feet. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Executioner's almost out of it there. He was stunned. Keep busy, guys. Come on now. Keep busy. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Good looking counter punch. Well, it may be one of the most impressive characteristics and traits in all of boxing, and we're seeing it on display here. He has an iron chin. punches just got to him you know right now he needs to go into that old dean smith four corner offense where he just kills some